Three struggling teams are hoping to stop the bleeding when they see action in the last day of the preliminaries in the 2018 Philippine Superliga PSL, All Filipino Conference on Tuesday at the Batangas Sports Complex. Stop. Lucia, still winless after nine's games, shoots for its first triumph when it takes on Foton, 5-4, at 4.15 p. M. Sinal, 4-5, and Coco Life, 1-8, also look to get back on the winning track when they face off at 6 p. M. Petron has already secured the top spot in the quarterfinals after winning all 10 of its assignments in the preliminary round. F2 Logistics, 8-2, is the second seed. Petron and F2 Logistics will face the number 8 and no. 7 teams, respectively, making the last playdate very crucial for the asset manager and the lady realtors that are at the bottom of the team standings. The survivors in the quarterfinals will then figure in the semis, with the higher-ranked team enjoying a twice-to-beat advantage. The best of three finals will start on December 15 at the Mall of Asia Arena. Coco Life is determined to finish the preliminary round on a high note, with head coach Moro Branislav stressing that their season is far from over. They are looking to upset Sinal, which is coming off two straight losses to Generica Ayala and F2 Logistics. I told the team to keep on working because it's not yet over, said Branislav, whose wards are coming off a sorry three-set loss to Generica Ayala last Thursday. Good things happen to those who work hard. It's still far from over, so we have to keep on pushing and play to the best of our abilities, he added. Stop. Lucia is also hoping to pull off a shock win. Hampered by injuries all conference long, the Lady Realtors have yet to register a win but are hopeful of doing just that against a depleted Foden squad. Ariane, Laig, and Shaya, a daughter, are already out of the season, so we're now down to only 12 women since Jaja. Santiago, and Dinden, Manabit, are still in Japan, said Foton coach Aaron Velez. But even though we're undermanned, we have to be there and play our best, and no matter what the outcome we will be proud of ourselves, because we gave our all, he added.